Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? I mean, someone is always going to end up standing right by the door. I'm just good at making sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. Now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me. Uh, this train Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. Bond Street. It's, uh, it's on the other platform. Thank you. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. Yo, hi. Und herzlich willkommen zu Late Shift. Das ist wohl so ein interaktiver Film, würde ich mal sagen. Also ein richtig zocke Game wird das wohl nicht. Aber schauen wir mal. Fängt ja schon ganz nett an. Ich glaube, wir sind hier so ein Parkhauswächter. Na, mal schauen. Nur fette Karren hier. Yeah, the most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. Ooh. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Care for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. Oops. Do you beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her. Fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions. That's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist. Just like that pig in a suit. Tja, ein bisschen falsch eingeschätzt, ne? Uh, I need a favor. 
Mhm. I need the keys to the Maserati. Natürlich brauchst du die. Das ist Dr. Brent, though. Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my sign for it, then? <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? Yeah. I can't do it. Sorry. It's more than my job's worth. So you're a good boy. Shame. <laughs> Didn't you ever steal a sweet from the sweet shop? Not sweets are expensive. I promise I will bring it back. I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. A grand? A hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. Ah, it's schwer, ne? Forget it. There is no yeah. way I'm letting you drive a 200,000 pound car out of here tonight, alright? What? Okay. Look, no more fast cars tonight, all right? Vorsicht. Okay. Turn around. Slowly. Now get over here. Ein paar Autos klauen oder was? Drop it. Mom. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. Mm, okay. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. Das ist ein schöne Auto voll Bluten, geh mal weg. Schuh, schuh. Family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You done now? Get in the house. Ah, it's my old job. No option. Wall. Ninety percent chance I'll get shot, but he's injured. Make it seventy. Chance he shoots in this neighborhood though. Thirty percent max. So the chance of taking a bullet is less than twenty-one. Is it worth a try? Go. Hey, come. Stop. Shit. Fuck. No. <laughs> Ja, er ist verletzt. Okay, das war wohl nichts. Okay, wir müssen da rein. Ich 
make sure I look the part, and I want to make sure we have a project of years. So. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ! Alter! Who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. Alter. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. It's a tough well, boy, no? It has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr. Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get all of that, you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. No, man. Look, I, no. I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, okay? I'm not going to say anything to anyone. Well, it's not going to take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? Yeah, it's all of headaches like you. Hold still. Making things worse. <laughs> Your headache's going to start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there. He may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key? What the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. Okay, da sind wir wohl in so ein Ding reingeschlittert. Okay. So what's the plan? This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with May Ling. Matt, yeah, Slack. klar. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. <laughs> I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already. I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back. We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money.
Welcome to Hainsworth. The second part of the auction has just begun. Oh, auction, okay. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred and fifty thousand pounds. This marvelous 12th century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is Matt. just trying to keep it purgatory. Oh, I'm sorry, if I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. <laughs> sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Trapp. Katie. What Ooh. we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Two Tessian. One of only three simply beautiful pieces. Remaining examples okay, great. of the red now. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece, the sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Hmm. Yeah, well, he can't afford it. What did we say about that talking? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Ooh. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the sale you, price, don't on we? the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six, I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ I'm almighty. looking for nine five. <laughs> nine, five. <laughs> nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. Okay, do we really have Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. <laughs> ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear... 10-5. You are so getting lumbered with this. 10-5. 10-5 I have. Thank you. Now do I hear 11? 11 I have with the lady. I'm going to have a hard time. 11, it's your bid, man. Yeah, gut feeling. 11, so... They're ticked off. 11-5. Right. 11-5. Like to the chances of getting away with another bid. 11, madam. 11-5. Well, that's 11, 18 five. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five. Eleven five. Eleven five. 5 I have. Thank you very much, sir. 11-5, it's your bid. It's against you now, man. It's against you, sir. 11-5. 11-5 with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11-5 once. 11-5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12-5? 12-5 I'm looking for. Well, oh, hopefully steigen wir jetzt nicht aus. Madam, looking for 12.5. 12.5. 12.5 I have to my right. Ooh. Thank you, sir. 12.5. So do I hear 13? Against you now, madam. 
Ja, komm, die haben keinen Bock mehr. Lass mal, lass mal. Alter, für so ein Schlüsselchen. 12,5. Puh, nicht schlecht. Okay, das muss jetzt mal reichen für diese Session, oder? Mehr schauen wir uns beim nächsten Mal an. Gucken wir mal, wie es weitergeht. Okay, bis dann. Ciao.